Hello student. So let us start our discussion. In previous video uh, or in previous tutorial, we have discussed uh, what is the vector processing. So in this video, we will discuss what is memory interleaving and what is array processor. So as you can see in this figure, this is the diagram for memory interleaving. In vector processor, uh, most of time what will happen that uh, multiple segment will require uh, simultaneous access for operand okay so it may be possible that in multiple segment we require uh, multiple operand so if you are using a simple uh, single port air memory okay then it, it will be difficult to perform all those operation so here what will happen in uh, memory interleaving technique memory will be divided into modules okay memory will be divided into modules and uh, then accordingly uh, in each module it uh, any segment can access the data okay now here all this module will receive the data uh, means receive the address for uh, data using this address bus there will be common address bus via which uh, they will receive the address and then there will be a data register for each memory module via which it can uh, send or receive data via bi-directional data bus clear okay here you can see this is one set or you can say memory module which contain address register and data register address register data register address register data register address register and data register for each memory there will be two input read and write so whatever data is there in data register if you want to write then we will enable the write input so it will the data will be stored into memory and uh, whatever data we want to read so the address will be stored into air or it will be provided into address register and then read pin will be enabled so data will be available in database via data register okay so here every communication will take place using data register and address register each module will have its own uh, read write pin and address register and data register so while this module is writing some data into this memory at the same time if we want to retrieve another operand from this module okay then uh, we can provide the address into this and then simply enable the read pin so uh, operand will be forwarded to data bus via data register now uh, here how this memory interleaving technique will work okay so wherever uh, let's say this this is divided into uh, four part okay so uh, address will be a uh, content of memory will be stored according to the address okay so if the last two bit okay if it is zero zero then it will be stored into first memory if it is 0 1 then it will be stored into second module if it is 1 0 then it will be stored into third module and if it is 1 1 then it will be stored into the fourth module okay here in uh, preceding bits can be any so if it is uh, four module memory memory interleaving okay so in that case uh, last two B, uh, last two bits will be considered okay if it is if there are only two module let's say we will we will not consider this module we will consider only this two module okay and at that time uh, if last digit is zero then it will be stored into this memory module and if last digit is one then it will be stored into this module okay so uh, the while we are storing data we are considering this two bit at the same time whenever we are retrieving the data we will also consider last two bit okay so if you want to retrieve a data which is having any uh, preceding bits but last two bits are one zero okay then it will be retrieved from third memory module okay clear so this is how memory interleaving will work here what will be the advantage here uh, data bus which is shared with the segment then uh, simultaneous operation can be performed into individual memory array or you can say individual memory module so uh, this technique is uh, mostly used in uh, array processor wherever we are having multiple segment pipeline okay so uh, this is how a memory module will work next topic is array processor so what is error processor 
so array processor are specifically designed hardware which are used to enhance the uh, you can say arithmetic or vector processing uh, ability of computer okay so these are not actually part of a normal cpu but it will be uh, attached additionally so here you can see in the figure this is the general purpose computer this is the main memory and this is interface okay so every these three elements are part of computer general purpose computer the cpu main memory and input output interface and this will be a processor so it will have two element array processor as well as local memory means uh, ram or you can say the primary memory of array processor now whenever we want to perform any arithmetic let's say uh, um, larger array computation okay so at that time this array processor will be attached via input output interface in next uh, unit we will discuss input output organization so at that time we will discuss what is interface so here this interface will play a key role in between uh, in in communication between uh, general purpose computer means cpu and attach array processor uh, usually uh, this attach array processor is having multiple processing unit and uh, local memory where all the data will be transferred from main memory to the local memory of array processor and then it will be manipulated over there and whatever result is there it will be written to the uh, computer so uh, the data of the uh, attach array processor are transferred from main memory to local memory through a high speed bus and uh, the general purpose computer without attach array processor serves the user the need of conventional data processing unit okay so we can say that uh, there will be parallel execution okay so let's say if you are having uh, array computation okay then the data will be transferred into local memory via main memory and then this general purpose computer along with the main memory will be used for general computation while this attach array processor will perform the computation of array okay once the uh, operation is over okay then uh, whatever the result is there it will be written to the main memory and then generally it can be used by general purpose computer now uh, if you look at the uh, concept then this is how it will look like okay but if we try to find uh, the category of this device okay then it will belongs to the simd single instruction multiple data stream okay so if you uh, if we try to draw the figure for smd okay then this is how it will look like there will be uh, various or multiple processing unit and va uh, various uh, memory module okay so each processing units will have its own uh, memory module okay and uh, there will be one main memory and then there will be the master control unit so as you can see master control unit will generate the uh, signal or operational control signal and it will be forwarded to all the processing unit okay and memory module will store the operand so that same operation will be performed in parallel in all the modules okay so all the in all the modules from all the modules data will be retired into processing unit and then process data will be processed and whatever result will be there it will again send back to the memory module so similarly the parallel execution will uh, take place okay so if you uh, try to recall the C is equals to A plus B which we have discussed in previous video Okay, so there here the common operation is addition that will be performed in uh, All the processing unit. Okay, but there will be only change in the data. Let's say we want to perform the multiplication of uh, thousand numbers Okay, so in that case what what can be done? Uh, let's say thousand element of array a and thousand element of array b so in that case uh, 0 to uh, 249 will be stored into here mm1 0 to 249 for b will be stored into this then again 250 to let's say uh, 499 and 250 to 499 a and b will be stored into this and then uh, 500 to let's say 749 of a will be stored here 500 to 749 will be stored of, of b will be stored here 
then 752 999 of a will be stored here and 752 999 of b will be stored into memory module 4 okay then the master control unit will send aid instruction to all the processing unit okay so one by one in parallel there will be addition of four units so once the uh, 250 time means in 250 clock cycle that execution will be over result will be available into all the memory module individual okay and then from individual memory module it will be uh, uh, brought back to the main memory okay so this is how uh, error processor will work okay so uh, here you can see if we do not have error processor then if you want to perform the multiplication of uh, thousand element let's say each multiplication is taking one second then we require thousand second okay and here using error processor or in parallel execution we can complete the task into only 250 cycles clear with this okay so uh, this is how uh, error processor will be used uh, normally whenever we want to go with the Mm, higher order uh, or multi-dimensional data manipulation at that time this kind of architecture will be used okay like artificial neural network or you people are just trying to uh, if people are using support vector machine then clustering and in all those scenario uh, this kind of error processor can play a key role okay so if you ever if you are ever interested then there is a technology known as cuda compute unified device architecture so you can uh, learn that technology using that technology you can perform the um, gpu computing on graphic card okay so this is supported by nvidia so uh, this kind of various technologies or intermediate frameworks are available into market using which uh, you can use your hardware efficiently okay graphic card is one of the best example of array processor why because uh, uh, any image is treated as a uh, multi-dimensional matrix so whenever you are working with image or you are working on image processing at that time image will be processed using simd or you can say array processor so with this uh, we will uh, finish this unit we will keep our we will keep our discussion uh, up to this in this unit and we will finish this unit okay so next video we will start next unit that will be the uh, input output organization thank you